Hello and welcome to the University of Waterloo. We're standing in front of the Quantum Nano Center, or the Q&C as we like to call it. My name is Jen Coggan and I'm an instructor and lab manager for the Nanotechnology Engineering Undergraduate Program. We're going to give you a tour today of the Q&C where you'll be spending most of your time in our classrooms and labs. So come this way and we'll show you around. The QNC houses both the Institute of Quantum Computing as well as the nanotechnology side. In this building, you'll see a lot of whiteboards all over the walls where students congregate, they write out solutions to problems, they study, and they write a lot of events that are happening around campus. Take a look on the right hand side. We're now going to move into one of our lecture halls. This room fits around 120 students, which is the size of one of our nano undergraduate classes. You'll be spending a lot of time with your classmates. You'll really get to know them. They all work together and become friends. In this room, you'd get a typical lecture with a professor uh, teaching you new material. You might work on problem sets together and you'll see that it's large, but fairly small at the same time. There's three whiteboards at the front as well as projectors that will project uh, video onto two different screens. Next I'm going to show you the fourth year study room. So once you make it into your final year of your undergraduate program, you get access to this wonderful room where the fourth year students hang out, they can eat, they study, uh, they really make it their own. And so it's a great space uh, once you've made it through the program um, to sit in here and you get to view outside, which is the fabulous rock garden that's really beautiful in the spring and summertime. Up next, I'm gonna show you the lab space. So come on through. This is one of our lab spaces for the nanotechnology engineering undergraduate students. There are several different labs in here and I'm gonna show you around. In this room, this is the electronics lab. So there are four main themes to the nano program, one being nanoelectronics, nanomaterials, nanobio, and nano instrumentation. So you'll be taking several labs in here about electronics. You're gonna study integrated circuits and different devices. And this is sort of a workstation where a pair of students will work together and use equipment here, like an oscilloscope, power supply, and a function generator. Over here, I'll show you another instrument that's kind of cool. It's a four point probing station. So you actually put uh, your circuit or a chip on here. You're able to view it in detail with the microscope. And then there's four metallic probes that lets you look at the circuit. All right, let's move on into our wet chemistry lab. In here, you're gonna be making new materials, uh, doing chemistry work. And so safety is really important in this lab. Each pair of students will get a space to work in a fume hood which is something that uh, carries air out of the room and keeps it safe for you to work with solvents and chemicals. You'll also get a lab bench where you can do other work outside of the fume hood. This is a nanomaterial handling glove box. So in the program, you're going to learn a lot about how to na handle nanomaterials safely. You don't want to be breathing them in as that could be toxic and unsafe for you to use. So this is one of the uh, equipment that you'll get to use to keep you safe. Around here, uh, over on this side, this is a different kind of instrument. So this is a sputter coater and it is used to uh, deposit different metals onto a substrate and it's used in one of our fourth year labs. I'm going to take you next door and this is what we call one of our instrument rooms. So again, we wouldn't really do chemistry in here but we produce a lot of materials. And what you then do is want to characterize them and see the properties and functionality. So there's different instruments that you'll be learning and having lots of hands-on time with while you're here in the program. 
We like to show off this instrument. It's an atomic force microscope or AFM. It's pretty cool because you're able to view the surface of whatever material you're working on and actually look at the nanoscale and uh, see what a surface looks like in the nanometer range. Welcome to our nano bio lab. So you'll see this is a fairly different type of lab setup as opposed to the electronics and the chemical lab. This is where our biology labs occur and you'll see uh, different instruments. Uh, this is a incubator where we'll grow E. coli to produce a green fluorescent protein and it's used in the design and development of a biosensor. Now that I've taken you through some of our labs in the QNC, we're going to move to a different building and show you our clean room and metrology suite. We are the only program in Canada that has a clean room dedicated to our undergraduate students. And in here, you're going to practice device fabrication. I'd like to introduce you to Ting, who is a professor in chemical engineering and our current program director for the nanotechnology engineering program. He's going to take you through our clean room and explain some of the different instruments that you can find in here. So first of all, we've seen this uh, reactive ion etcher that you see right here. Okay, so little, this little guy is over here. It's a react, react, reactive ion etcher. It's going to etch material using plasma. Okay, so we can move on to the next one. The next big machine looks like a refrigerator. Now this is a sputtering machine. Okay, so it's for physical vapor deposition. You can see the control on the right hand side. And then on the left hand side, this shiny um, chambers is in under vacuum and you put your samples in there. And then it's going to deposit different uh, metal film films on top, such as aluminum, chromium, and titanium. So you will have your opportunity to actually work on these instruments. Now, next we are going to look at PECVD chamber. So over here, we have PECVD chamber. PECVD stands for plasma and hence chemical vapor depositions. So this is a common technique being used to deposit uh, what is called insulator or dielectric film films. So for example, silicon oxide, silicon nitride film films, uh, we would deposit on top. This is commonly used uh, in the industry also to make integrated circuits. So you've got to also have a chance to push some button and make some in the device out of it. Okay, we can go on to the next machine on the wet bench. <clears throat> so during the um, uh, circuit design or circuit processing or device processing, sometimes you would also use acid or alkaline agents to remove certain materials such as uh, like uh, acid remove the metals. And it sometimes is effective to use a liquid form or aqueous form uh, to remove liquid, uh, the metals. So this is a bench that you're going to use uh, for wet edges or also for cleaning purposes. Okay, next piece. <laughs> oh, so the, uh, we have another type of uh, benches over here. Okay, so this is another wet edge bench and it's uh, actually for, you can use to remove acid and also uh, under uh, acidic solutions. Okay, so next we are going into uh, lithography room or so I would call it the yellow room. So this is a clean environment, which means that uh, all the air is coming in, uh, being filtered, okay? So all the small particles is going to filtrate out from the outside. So that's why they call it a clean room, okay? So the laundry room is also uh, considered part of the clean room. As you can see, the room is all yellow light. It's not because something wrong with our camera. It's because of yellow light so that we don't accidentally expose um, our photoresist and develop it. So as you can see right now, this is a film hood. Okay, so uh, for the film coating. Okay, so this is a metal film hood. Okay, so we have a spin coat on it. So you can spin coat photoresist on top. And then we have a two uh, baking unit. It's basically a, uh, a very high, highly precise, well-controlled hot plate uh, sitting next to each other. Okay, and then we can move on to the next one. Uh, mass aligner. So this is a mass aligner. So basically you will have a um, uh, photo mask, okay? And then you want to print some pattern or uh, expose the samples to UV light. So you can translate your pattern on your photo mask onto your device on a substrate level, okay? 
So next, we got another film hood to develop the photo resist after the UV exposure. Okay, so this is again a uh, organic solvents. So it requires um, <coughs> short, uh, solvents for the developing. Okay, for the uh, for the photo resist. Okay, next we have a microscope uh, for the um, uh, to inspect the patterns that being uh, transferred onto our uh, device or onto a substrate. So as you can see over here, the the microscope and the camera, and you can see the uh, the videos of the device. Okay, and you can see the pattern the structures now onto the device. Okay, so next we can go to uh, get a, a outside the clean room again and then look at some other equipment. So as you can see, I'm not sure if you guys see um, the lab instructor for Henry, um, they are actually fully suited um, with uh, gardens and uh, you can uh, pan the camera to herself. Oh, well, we'll look at the four point band first. Okay, you can see the way that she dress up. So it's all well protective uh, with the gown. And also you have a head net, and then also you look at her booties. Um, it's also have booties covered the shoes because we are trying to making sure that the dust particles or the dirt from outside world don't go into our clean room. Okay, so because our clean room uh, has to be keep clean, so the devices are, uh, will not have contaminants on top. And also you have to wear safety eyeglasses everywhere in the clean room. Okay, and, and then also right now uh, during COVID days, everybody wear masks. Uh, so over here we have a four point probe. Okay, so this is to measure the resistance um, of the metal film films we deposit on the silicon or on other type of substrates. And then we have mass design. So this is basically you can show uh, when you have a patent or of a device you want to create, then you actually need to design it yourself. And then these are the machine on the mass designer um, that have the software can actually help you. To make the device, draw the device, draw all different circuits on it. So in a nano program, you actually able to have opportunity to design your own circuit. Okay, so it's pretty exciting area to be in. So next is what we call a die tag unit. Okay, so when you deposit film films or you make a device, um, you have some topographic features, and you want to make sure that your uh, film film structures, uh, the thickness is correct. So this is a machine to measure the surface topographies of your device, okay? So in nanotech, um, you will have opportunities to design your own device, make your own device in the clean room, pattern it, and then finally, you can actually use a topographic machine to see how the two-dimensional or the three-dimensional images of device looks like, okay? We can go to the next one. <laughs> so again, we have the weight scale, just like any labs. We have high precision wave scale, okay. Everyone need that. Um, next, we're going to ellipsometer. Okay, we'll go to the next machine, which is called a ellipsometer. Okay, so this is a really interesting device. So this is a uh, using laser beams, I believe, and uh, it's able to measure the film thickness, okay, down into a nanometer scale, um, and also measure the optical properties of the film film, such as refractive index. Okay, so this is important. Um, you want you, you try to find out the dial, uh, the film film thickness, especially for the dielectric film films such as silicon oxide, silicon nitride. Okay, so this is a, a crucial machine to be have, and also can able to characterize uh, the optical properties such as refractive index um, uh, of, of the film that you're depositing on. Okay, so um, that is kind of the highlight of the clean room. Uh, it's a very interesting area. Um, I used to work in the industry and I actually spent seven years uh, every day working in a clean room. It's a fascinating area and do a lot of interesting things um, and a lot of expensive equipment over here. And all these facilities are dedicated to the end program only. So it's all yours um, when you arrive at University of Waterloo. So you will have the chance to come in and work on this industry.